Evicting a tenant can seem like a complicated undertaking, but in this video, we'll quickly explain eviction laws in Oregon and how to recover your property in five simple steps. First, what is an eviction? Eviction is the process of legally removing a tenant. It's illegal for a landlord to change locks or physically remove a tenant themselves. So if the renter refuses to leave after violating their lease, you must seek an eviction from the court. The process for simply terminating a lease differs from that of an eviction. Lease terminations require proper notice from the landlord or tenant and state requirements can be found on our website. Legal reasons for eviction in Oregon. A landlord only has grounds to evict a tenant for reasons allowable in the state. The first step in the eviction process is to give the lessee one of the following notices to quit. Non-payment of rent. A landlord may serve a notice to quit after rent is eight days late, which gives the tenant three days to pay rent or vacate. They may also serve a notice to quit after rent is five days late. This notice gives the tenant six days to pay the rent or quit. Non-compliance. If the tenant violates their lease, a non-compliance notice gives them 14 days to either comply with the lease or vacate the property. If they do not fix the issue, they must vacate within 30 days of receipt of notice. If it's their second of the same violation within six months, you have the option to cancel the lease and require the tenant to vacate within 10 days. Immediate danger or illegal activity. If the tenant engages in dangerous or illegal activity on the premises, you may issue a 24 hour notice to quit, which requires the tenant to vacate within 24 hours. Rent grace period. In Oregon, there is a five day rent grace period for week to week tenancies. A notice to quit for unpaid rent can be served after the fifth day that rent is late. For month to month leases or those with a fixed term lease, a notice to quit may not be served until after the eighth day of late rent. Five steps to legally evicting a tenant in Oregon. Serve the notice to quit. Choose the form you need and download or fill it out on eForms.com. Post it on the tenant's door and also send it via certified mail with a return receipt requested via USPS. If the breach is curable, you must wait for the specified number of days before taking further action. File eviction papers with the court. If the tenant has mitigated the issue and remains on the property, you can proceed to court. File a residential eviction complaint and summons in the local court in the area in which the property is located. The summons will indicate a hearing date and time. Serve the court documents. The tenant now needs to receive the information about the case filed against them. The court will give you a copy of the summons and the complaint, which must be served on the tenant by the end of the day, the day after filing. The tenant has the right to file an answer with the court. Attend the hearing. At the hearing, the judge will reach a ruling. If the tenant does not show up or if the judge rules in your favor, the court will issue a judgment, which will order the tenant to vacate. Removing the tenant. If the tenant is ordered to leave and they still remain on the property, you may be able to seek assistance from the sheriff to remove the tenant from the property. Damages. Often, the tenant's security deposit does not cover total losses. If damages are not rewarded at the hearing, you may be able to recover past due rent and court fees through small claims court. Now you can get eviction proceedings started. Get eviction forms, court documents, and all other information you'll need at the link below for free. And don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos.